We are living in this country, India, the world's largest functioning democracy. But will it remain so in the next couple of decades? You may have seen how Prime Minister Modi talks about him being not an elite, that he is from a backward caste only during the election season. We have seen him shed tears countless number of times. While some may feel heartwarming to see the Prime Minister be vulnerable, over the years, most of us have realized that he is using his caste status not assertively to inspire the backward sections of this country, but as a shield. As a shield to protect himself from the same people whom he is betraying over and over every single time. Prime Minister Bodhi, BJP and its fathership Sangh Parivar is indeed the disheartening and the frustrating aspect of a democracy. Other backward castes, that is the OBCs, SC and ST form the majority of this country's population. After 1947, while we have been liberated from the British, the OBCs, SCs and STs are still not liberated to dream big, dream wide as they are bound to the ground using the caste and the religion, inculcating a false pride by Sang Parivar and sheer lack of opportunities. While it is a common knowledge that the OBCs form the majority in this country and a great percentage of them are socially and economically backward, the true numbers of OBCs are never revealed out of fear that it will change the nation's political equations. To remedy this problem, the UPA government ensured the conduct of a caste census as a part of the decadal census in 2011 that the government undertakes every 10 years. But the cynical attitude of BJP is such that they have not released the caste census data of 2011. We do not know where the data is. Do we know that this data is the property of the public and not just one political party? So where is the data? In 2018, the BJP union government had favoured a caste-based census. The then Home Minister Rajnath Singh made a statement about this in the parliament. However, in July 2021, the government informed the Lok Sabha that the 2021 census would not have a caste count. Why are PM Modi and Amit Shah silent on the caste census issue? What happened after 2018 that made the BJP top leadership to remain silent on the basic right of the OBCs, which is to get the rightful share of benefits? In addition to that, this government did not conduct a decadal census of 2021, postponing it in the name of COVID-19 pandemic. It is a matter of great disappointment and severe concern. Whom is this government protecting by not conducting a decadal and caste census? It's truly mind-blowing that the same government can swiftly and seamlessly organize state elections during this pandemic while failing to conduct the census, which is a fundamental aspect of a democracy. In a democratic republic, the decisions are expected to be taken based on the reality and not on the wishful thinking of some emperor. The very foundations of democracy are undermined here. In a nation where social and economic disparities are stark, it is crucial to have accurate and up-to-date data on the caste demographics. The courts have been seeking data on the socio-economic status of OBCs in various states to ensure fair distribution of reservation benefits. However, due to the lack of a comprehensive census exercise, this data remains elusive. This is a glaring injustice to a significant proportion of a population. Why should the population which has faced injustice for more than a millennium face even more injustice due to the sheer ineptness of one supreme leader? The lack of comprehensive data hampers the government's ability to address the real issues faced by the OBCs and it is an injustice that cannot be ignored. As the DMK President and the Chief Minister of Tamil Nadu, Thiru Muthuvel Karnanadi Stalin rightly said, In the last 90 years, after the last caste census of 1931, the demographic and the socio-economic landscape of a country has undergone many changes. Shouldn't our policies reflect the changed reality? The DMK Deputy General Secretary Thirumigu Kanimuri Karnanadi said, We will strive to push for the caste census. It is disheartening to note that, despite the mandated 27% reservation for the other backward classes, the implementation of OBC reservation is lukewarm at best. It is an undeniable fact that the representation in our legislative bodies, educational institutions and government services is far from the reflective of a diverse society. According to the government data, a total of 601 judges were appointed to various high courts from 2018 onwards. Of these, a mere 12% are from the OBCs. In the 45 central universities across India, only 4% of the professors and 6% of the associate professors are OBCs.
Only 5 vice chancellors out of the 4 to 5 vice chancellors of these central universities are OBCs. This is the reality across India. It is not enough for the prime minister to proudly proclaim his OBC status. It is not enough for him to be a token symbol in a high position. What truly matters is the concrete measures taken to uplift and empower the backward sections of a population. It's about making sure that the promises of our constitution ensuring social and the economic justice are not just words on paper but a reality for all. Integrate caste census with the decadal census. The only way to treat any problem is to diagnose it first. For remedying systematic social ills, that is the first step to ensuring social justice. Liberation of opportunities through correct government intervention will lead to unlocking the potential of this country. We have seen that in Tamil Nadu. We want that to happen in India as well.